All right, here we go. So I've done quite a bit since the last video. <clears throat> so here's what I got so far. The motor mounts done, drilled, motor set where it needs to be. Start working on the power steering and uh, got the pulleys in for the crank, the water pump, the alternator. Um, I did order the brackets for the sway bar so that I'll stand it up a little, hopefully get it out of the way. Uh, I'm not gonna mess with that for the time being. Uh, I did the, <clears throat> see or not, but I did the transmission mount down there. Cut that offset back to match the offset of the engine. I cut the old shock mount out. Uh, took all the brakes off. And uh, I've gone through. Here's the old shock mount here, you can see. So I started setting up the shocks. I put the coils on. Set those to 10 clicks. Um, started messing with the pan hard bar. It's way too long. I gotta cut that down and re-thread it. Uh, when I drilled the hole for the the coil over slash uh, anti roll bar, it was a little big. The hole saw was, but uh, I can make it work. So the only problem I've got going on right now, back here with this is so both of these jacks stand up they're set at the same height you can see i've got tension i've got five inches from here to here on this side six inches on the other side um so i think i've got too much tension in one of these turnbuckles so i'm gonna have to figure that out before i get everything squared away but basically um the anti-roll bar will be on something like this it goes on a on this rod here that goes through the center of here and i've got the bushings around here somewhere for it i don't remember where so anyways so that's what i've been working on so i'm gonna call this I guess part one of the rear suspension. Um, I've got a few things I'm gonna try to knock out in the next couple days. Um, so we'll see. Hopefully, it won't take too long for the rear suspension. I gotta sand and paint that cross member, sand and paint the rear end, and do a whole bunch of welding. So, all right.